All right, today we're talking about this gimbal gear grip for the Shure and Weeble S gimbal. And of course you can use it for other gimbals, but we're talking about this gimbal grip for dual handle grip control on your gimbal. And why this is so important to get better shots, more stability in your, in, in your gimbal work and so on. There's also the Shure and gimbal grip, which I do not prefer. Uh, so let's talk about this A gimbal gear grip right here and why I think you should invest in this one as the first thing you do when you buy this gimbal. Here we go. So before we start, I just want to say thanks to all of you guys who subscribe to this channel. It is highly appreciated. And of course, if you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I do that every Sunday. So let's take a look at this gimbal grip right here and let me take you, take you through some of the advantages I think you will get with this one and why I think this is the first thing you should add to your accessories when you buy the Weeble S. All right, so first off, we have the dual handle grip control that you get with a handle on the side, and especially on the Weeble S where you can hold it here. You got one hand here and one here. Then you will have this dual handle grip when you're shooting with the gimbal. Um, the advantage you get with the handle grip here and not holding it here is that if you hold it up here, you have to chuck your arms in and you're shooting this awkward position uh, with your arms in here. When you have the dual handle grip, you can have the gimbal closer to your body and when you start a uh, gimbal shoot, you can actually move forward with the gimbal in, in a very um, pleasant way. It's the same principles I use when I shoot with the glide cam and I'll show you that in a future tutorial. So that is the biggest advantage with having a dual handle grip is added control when shooting with the gimbal. So the next thing is actually a question I got uh, a couple of times and I originally got it today and that is if the pan axis will hit the uh, gimbal grip and just power down the gimbal and as you can see there's a lot of clearance for the gimbal can go rotate 360 if it wants to so that is not an issue at all. All right, let's take a look at the gimbal gear grip and the shoein grip and why I prefer this one over the shoein. The shoein has a rubber grip here. There's not a cold shoe mount. Uh, there's no other mounting points on this one and it's further away from the gimbal. So that's why I don't like this one. You see on the A gimbal gear grip, there's mounting points all the way down here. You've got the cold shoe mount up here in top. Uh, you also got the mounting points on the other side. And then when you use it as a dual handle grip, it is closer to the gimbal so I can control the follow focus with my thumb on my left hand as well as on my right hand. So that is the main features that I really like about this one. And the last thing is of course the price. This one is about 30 bucks and this one is 40 bucks. So you'll save 10 bucks uh, if you buy this one right here. But I have to say one thing is that if you already have this one, there's not a reason for you to go out and buy this one unless you really like the features that I've just pointed out right here. So the next thing is actually when you operate the gimbal and what I like about the grip here is of course the dual handle grip, but when I'm going to adjust the camera settings or the camera, I can hold the, the, uh, the gimbal with my um, left hand and control the camera up here with my right hand. Uh, if I didn't have the grip here, I would have to use my left hand, which is a bit awkward for me uh, in some situations. I like to do it with my right hand. Um, just a smaller thing, but really useful when you are on the, on the go and shooting with the gimbal. So the uh, next thing is actually also a, an accessory that I think is very useful to have with the gimbal grip, and that's the shoe and quick release plates. So you can easily take off the handle and put it into your backpack. Uh, so you'll need two of those, one up here and one down here. I have two grips, uh, so I don't have to switch between them. Um, but then it's easy to just click it on uh, when you're taking it out of your bag. All right, so that is my 
quick video about this A gimbal gear grip and why I think dual handle grip is so important when you're shooting with your gimbal. And if you're interested in more Weeble List videos, I have a whole series and I'll link some down here. So go back and see some of my hacks, tutorials, reviews and so on. And of course, if you're new here, remember to subscribe uh, and hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. That's it guys, thanks for watching and there's only one thing to say, stay creative and go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time, bye. Cause we both deserve it all